All right, cheers, folks. We're going to start a uh, new level one account in Russian Fishing 4, because that's what we do here at MDog Gaming. We start level one accounts in Russian Fishing 4 and figure out new cool ways to level to Cory Lake. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this time our goal will be beyond Cory Lake. We're going to really, let me say from the start, we're going to focus on a little bit of float and a lot of feeder. We're not going to spin fish on this account. I'll do a spin fish only leveling account at some point and we'll do that series. But we got sidetracked on Corey in our last series and that was a lot of fun. And if it's like this is your one account, your main account, then you want to do it all. And I get that. But I want to have this account be, have as much fun and also level as efficiently as possible. So I'm going to look to all of my favorite folks that are part of our community and game to keep me up to date on all the cool spots you're finding here especially these lower level lakes in the beginning of this series and let's have some efficient leveling try to make as much silver as we can but also have a lot of fun again we'll have to do some float fishing here we may continue to do some float fishing if that's what's efficient but we'll definitely be doing some bottom fishing if you are new to russian fishing 4 like several of you are new that have joined our chat channel lately you already know this, but the first thing you need to do is you need to hit Q. Don't even do the tutorial yet. Hit Q. Go to this little cog wheel here. Am I covering up the cog wheel? Hold on. Hit this little cog wheel here. Click that. This is your chat channel, okay? There's a lot of chat channels. Let me just make this suggestion. Type in my dogs. Come join us here. There's 287 of us right now. Join that channel. And... Uh, Say hello to everyone. Couldn't find a better community. It's a great group of folks. You will, uh, you'll enjoy your time in my dog's chat channel. Okay. Besides that, we have um, got to get through the tutorial because that's what we do. Uh, I thought I was going to trick them, but they immediately know. They know it's me. They know it's me. All right, let's get through this tutorial, okay? So what they want us to do is press I and click on this click pick up and want to use our number keys plus and minus to set the depth to one meter if you're new to the game you can use this as a guide but you'll be able to find yourself through this uh through this tutorial pretty easily the only hard part of this tutorial is uh is catching a fish right float fishing especially early level can be pretty annoying So there's two, there's two stages of the bite, okay? And it doesn't always look the same, but keep that in mind. There's two stages. Okay, this is what I want. I want to catch marker Chinese sleepers. Do I have to come to the pond to do this? We could not get on the sleepers at Mosquito in our last series. All right, we want to keep this. We're going to be selling it, obviously. All right, put the rod back in your backpack. We want to go to the house over here and get our free float tackle. And if we hit Y, we'll get spare float tackle. You can also get spare spin tackle, but you have to choose between the two and you can only do it once a day. All right, look, here's our little Corona. This is our little spinning rod. They give you one of these to start off with. Look, this is how, this is how uh, dedicated we are here. No spin allowed, boom. We just threw away gear, okay, gone. Lures, we don't need them. No spin zone. You're in the no spin zone, okay? Everything else we'll keep. All right, now let's try to go to Mosquito Lake uh, to catch, to sell our catch at the market. Okay, so what we're gonna do, hit escape, click on the map, click on Mosquito and go travel. Thankfully, all of the traveling between Cottage Pond, Mosquito Lake and Winding Rivulet are free of charge. If you are new to the game and have any questions at all, please let me know in the in-game chat at the bottom of this video, you will also sometimes find me on Twitch at MDogGaming. And when I'm streaming, 
some of those times. I might even be streaming this. You never know. Honestly, I've been more focused on YouTube lately, but uh, I do want to get back into streaming as my schedule allows it. But man, it's been fun interacting with everyone through these YouTube channel, uh, and especially through the in-game chat channel. Okay, so you want us to go to the fish market, which is right here. We're going to hit E. We're going to select that fish and sell it for 2.85 silver. We're up to 52 silver. Now they want us to go to the tackle store and buy maggots. We'll be explaining all this stuff as we go. But uh, again, we're just walking through the tutorial. Remember, once a day you can eat here at the field kitchen. Run up to it, hit E. That'll be some free food once every 24 in-game hours, which is one hour real time. Now they want us to buy some maggots, right? Maggots are good and cheap, and they're going to be especially good for some of the things we're going to be doing here early. early. All right, close the store. You can also buy wet bread. Okay, so this is teaching how to craft. Hit in, click on bread, add bread, and then we want to make it. There we go. We've made our bread. Let's make some more bread. They want us to close this menu, but we've got another loaf, so let's make some more. All right, so now I can go to Winding win Rivulet to do that. Uh, let's see if there's a way to turn off tutorial because we're not we're not doing the spinning. They can't make me. Hold on, F1. Okay, F1, by the way, gives you all the commands. You can also do shortcuts, program your own buttons to do things. Settings. Um, I think there's a way to turn off tutorial. Could have sworn there's a tutorial thing. Maybe we have to do it at the settings before we log in. If not, when we go to winding, it's going to make us do that tutorial, right? And I just threw away my uh, spinning, my spin reel. Mistakes were made. Well, we'll fish here in 24 hours. We can go there, get the spinning equipment back, free spin tackle, right? Okay, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Um, okay, so now all we have is our tele, our uh, our float rod, and um, the good the good news is we do have 50 silver. Okay, I, I want to figure this out now. Sorry, before we before we start fishing, let me figure out if there's a way to get out of this. can't remember I know I've seen a place where you can turn tutorial on and off because it used to be that if you sign in no okay we don't just okay perfect all right beautiful okay so we're still rolling I was on the verge of starting this episode over but we're good um okay so this is what we want to do first of all let's look and see what we have here 16 hook What's the smallest hook we can get with reasonable for reasonable amounts? We get an 18. Those aren't in stock. 20. Yes, that's what we want. 20, right? We're not going to get any smaller than 20. Um, 22. We're not high enough level to use it. And it's getting expensive anyway. What level is that? Player level eight. Okay, let's do 20. All right, three silver. We do want to get our, um, all right, so let's, let's show you how to set up, set up a shortcut so you can pull your rod out. What you're going to do is you're going to hit U, pull a tether stick rod out, go into number one. You can fish with multiple rods in this game, but we certainly do not want to use a bamboo stick. Not, no sir, we're having fun. All right, let's see, I think it was right here basically. Uh, one thing I want to try to see how well this works is something we were doing the other night. Um, we want to go to what, like 18 centimeters? Or 17 even, the lowest you can go. So we're fishing with maggots here. We're going to try to catch uh, marker size small fish here. Is 
Is that a dace? No, it's a bleak. Okay, that's what we're wanting. 47 grams, okay? And it's a marker. So I think this is a pretty good option for, for if you're level one. Now, you notice we left Mosquito. We'll be back in Mosquito. Mosquito is a beautiful place. It's such a good place to fish, especially if you're low level. We'll see what the orders are right now. We've got a rough order. That could be interesting once it gets nighttime if we have a, um, a feeder. Pretty easy rough order. Two from 20 grams for 12 silver. Nothing that for what we're fishing for. But let me show you. Let's see how much this fish is worth. So one silver for one bleak. I want to keep an eye on this to see how efficient this feels. But you saw how easy catching that was. Um, so let's talk about float fishing a little bit. That cast was a little farther, but it hit the water. Two stages of the bite. I think I was beginning to tell you that earlier. Thankfully, bleak. Some of these small fish, they will bite really fast. So you don't have to wait. Well, there's a bad example. You don't have to wait like you normally do. You can also hit control and left click and that'll attempt to set the hook or you can just pull it without doing that. It seems to work pretty well without using the control method. All right, so the fish is taking it. I know you can't see it there, but what I'm doing is I'm pulling to the side as I'm lifting up. That bleak is just flying in the air somewhere. All right, look how much experience we got for that bleak. That's actually a really nice bleak. So we hit level two and two fish. It's kind of embarrassing, but I like it. By the way, we are completely free to play for, so far for this account. Uh, we're not doing premium or anything like that, and, and I don't recommend it this low a level. When you get higher level, if you want to, it can definitely be valuable. But for right now, all we care about is making silver. We're going to get so much experience, it's going to be crazy. All right, is that a dace? Oh my goodness, third fish is a trophy. Guys, this is OP. All we're doing is using maggots. Maggots cost like what? Two or three silver for 30 of them? Holy cow trophy bleak and we just got did we just get two levels this is sick that fish was worth 10 silver that little fish we just pulled out is worth 10 silver right now we have 14 so holy cow so this is what we're trying to do here I, I may be a little uh, in some of these episodes, I may take a little time. We might be looking at gear, really trying to be careful. But what I want to do is try to guide you in really fun, efficient ways to move through this game. I can't believe the third fish was a trophy. That's the craziest start I've ever had. We're level four and we've caught three fish. This is insane. And remember, we're using a small 16 hook. And I even have a smaller one so that we can try to see uh, to see if that helps sometimes. I was afraid that on the 16 hook we'd be catching all like little roaches, common roaches and stuff. So far, that hasn't been the case at all. This is insane. All right, let's try this again. It's gotten a little later in the morning. It's 1051 and it's a sunny day here at Winding. All right, in a minute here, we're gonna do an experiment. I think if we're patient, we may be able to continue to get some nice, is there a fish on there? Some nice little bleak on this bigger hook, but I do wanna put the smaller hook on there and see if that increases the bite rate. You can usually catch these bleak all day though. And by the way, we're going to be all about making ground bait. We'll be doing cooking, making ground bait, um, making baits. We're going to be putting, spending a lot of our silver on that stuff, not just gear. All right, we did eventually get a bite there. Just real quick, let's, let's change this to a 20 and uh, put maggots on there. Now, this should increase the bite rate, in my opinion, but we might see smaller size fish. See how fast that, ooh, jerked it out of its mouth. When you can afford nicer hooks, that'll help in a little, that'll happen a little less. You can also put skill points in, in float fishing if you're, if you're gonna do a lot of float fishing. Um, I don't know that we will do a ton of float fishing as we, as we get higher level, but right now, if we can find little spots like this that are just really nice silver and um, show you some, some of the basics of float fishing, it seems like it's gonna be worth it. All right. Oh, yeah, I knew that one was coming out because it was um, 
it had let go of it. The float was coming, coming back up. I still can't get over that trophy. It's just insane. I've never, I've just never seen that before. Maybe we try casting it just a little farther out there. Here comes another one. That actually might... Yeah, that is a little bleak, isn't it? He's having... Poor little guy. He's so small he couldn't even... Couldn't even move it. That looks like a gudgeon. Yeah, that was a gudgeon. That was a gudgeon. Okay. So now we're getting into gudgeon. Let's go back to the 16. Let's see if we can be patient for a bite. Don't want to get it too far out there. We will potentially get into lower bite rate if we go too far out and... Um, we might catch uh, more roach or other other fish, but small ones, so they wouldn't be they wouldn't be worth anything. They won't be marker size. All right, there we go. That's a bleak. And you can see every time we catch a fish, we're leveling up our float fishing, and it does that for a while. Once you get a little higher level, you won't get a you won't level up every your float fishing every time, but for now, it pretty much will every time. Oh, it let go of it. Did you see that? We had it and then it let go of it. It's definitely a bleak. They're being a little hesitant now. We need to make sure that they're actually taking the taking the bait fully. All right, that's a gibble or something. They're much more nibblers. All right, there we go. So you see how we got a point in float fishing there? That'll happen over and over. So because we're using the slightly bigger hooks, so like I don't think we would have caught that gibble. Uh, it's very likely we wouldn't have caught it on the smaller hook. So that's why sometimes I was thinking the 20 might be better because we would pretty much just catch the bleak. But since we caught that trophy on the 16, I'm kind of curious if that is the way to go. I'm not sure what that is, honestly. I would love to know though. What was that? It was too skinny to be a crucian. It didn't look like a roach. I'm afraid we might have just missed a really good fish. By the way, I am not. Uh, I'm not wrecking on spin fishing. I love spin fishing in this game. But I do think, especially early in, in your levels, it can be helpful to specialize in something. Oh, that's what it was. That last one was a little chub. That last one was a little chub as well. That was, yeah, I think that was the shape of a chub. Um, and so on this account, we're going to try really specializing, especially in bottom fishing. Even though we're doing a lot of float early on. Now that could be a dace, right? Looks too big to be a too big to be a bleak. And I don't think it's a small chub. So you see how as I'm pulling up, I'm not pulling straight up, I'm pulling to the side. So dace is another species that we would love to catch a lot of, but we definitely want to see the markers, not those sub markers. The dace are actually, I believe, worth more silver than the bleak. But I tend to see more non-marker dace compared to bleak, I believe. I got to make a decision soon if we're going to get one of those really crappy starter feeders. Or if we're going to save and get 
and not get a crappy feeder. Uh, you know, go straight to the little bit nicer one. Oh, it's just working so good right now. That's a bleak. Yeah. Another nice one. Very good. With as good as this spot is right now, like, the only thing that troubles me is that without a feeder, I don't feel like we've got anything we can do at night. So we kind of need at least one feeder going, even if we do have to get a junk one. Man, I should have waited. That was going to be another nice fish. So I am sometimes holding control. Um, you just, you, if you press left click, you'll lift it up. Let's refresh it here. I'm sorry, before I was talking about control right clicking to set the hook, you can't do that on these telescopic rods, can you? That's when you're uh, using a bolo or match rod, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, am I losing my mind on that? But I, I, don't, I don't think, you, I think you have to have a reel, uh, a reel on your rig to be able to, to do what I'm talking about. All right, that's a little, another little uh, throwaway chub. Again, you know, if we catch too much of these, uh, Bigger species fish might be worth going. So what are we at? 16 might be worth trying. 18. I'm just a little, um, I'm a little stuck on 16 because I know this spot is such a good bleak, sometimes day spot that if a bigger hook has a higher chance of a nice one, then I'm up for that. Even if we do have to catch a couple weird chub. I didn't even see that fish. It must have been tiny. Sometimes we're not getting the first nibble till it's all the way down there. Let's see what happens here. Uh oh. That's a big boy. That is a real big boy for us. Uh yeah, we, we could have lost our line there. All right, big chub. So another, another you know, risk we're running here with this, this size hook and maggots. Holy cow, we're leveling way too fast. We don't want to be level five right now. Just ignore the level. It's, it's silver that, what, that you need at this point, not levels. There's a little bleak. That's what we want. We'll see if he's a marker, though. Nope. Okay. Let's try. Oh, we don't have it. Okay. Let's try 20. Let's, let's, I know we did it up briefly. Let's stick with it a little bit. Let's, let's see two or three fish on 20. Again, we haven't spent any money yet. Uh, other than what the tutorial made us on maggots. That's a marker. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the size 20 hook, you just wouldn't expect to catch much besides bleak and dace. It's going to be pretty rare, I would think, that something else is going to get on that small of a hook. So we are just one after another right now. And so now you can make the argument that maybe that trophy on the 16 was... You know, just the RNG random. Maybe we would have caught that same fish on a 20. I don't know. But it's starting to feel like this size hook is worth it. I mean, we've caught three. That is another really nice bleak. Holy cow. We've caught three marker bleak in a row because we've got the appropriate size hook with the appropriate size bait. And that's one of the things here is matching the hook size to the fish you're going after and the bait that you're using to go after it. I cannot believe we've leveled this much. This spot is sick for low level players. Again, 
no money spent except on the hook right and the maggots which we're gonna have to get more maggots we've only got 13 left Alright, so there's some confusion about what I mean with no spin. Yeah, I'm not saying we won't use spinning reels, because spinning reels are a part of bottom fishing. Uh, I'm talking about we won't use any spin fishing setups. This is actually kind of amazing right now. I can't believe it. you know as much as I love mosquito I'm not I can't believe right now I'm suggesting to new players that you consider before even fishing at mosquito once coming to winding but look at how good we've done oh my goodness now when we do get into feeder fishing I definitely think that there's some some real advantages to uh, to winding but I mean sorry to mosquito Let's give this one a chance. Sometimes some really nice ones get on down here. That thing took off with it. Oh, it came off. That was a little farther out. That cast was a little farther out. Yeah, let's keep hitting this spot as, as long as we can. Once it gets to be nighttime, uh, float fishing here or, or in, in most spots is going to really slow down. And so that's when we'll go spend some time talking about the store, what's in the store. We'll see how much silver we've got. Um, another bleak. So good. So good. We'll look a little more closely at what all these bleak are worth according to their size to see silver wise how efficient this seems. Oh my goodness. There's another spot just down the line where everybody was catching dace the other day that it might be worth us trying as well, but we need to get pearl barley, which means we're gonna have to spend a lot of time shoveling. So we're gonna get on that soon too. Once we get uh, once we get at least one feeder in the water, we'll start thinking about when, when can we buy that shovel, which means we'll also start leveling tea. There's just kind of a lot you need to do to get your system started, uh, but all that is very important. Is that another little chub? can't even tell what that is yeah at least it was a marker this this we should be able to sit here fish till like 10 or 11 p.m. I think ah too bad that might have been a dace I couldn't tell for sure it wasn't a bleak I don't know. Is that a gudgeon? I can't even tell. No, that's a bleak. Nice. So even if it's a silver per fish, I mean, that's still starting to add up on those markers, but we know it'll be more than that on some of them. And these are just easy fish to float for. 
if you're float fishing for crucians and gibbles and all that, you have to sit through nibbles. It just takes forever. It can be pretty um, discouraging for new players, I feel like. This, on the other hand, is not bad at all. Good grief. Uh, I think I'm usually four or five, level four or five at the end of the first video in these series. We're level seven now. There's a fish down there. Looks like a bleak. Yeah, it's a cool looking little fish. It's almost like we're minnow fishing, isn't it? It's another one. This is our last maggot. It's already got a fish on there. I mean, it is just, that's a little chub though. It is just gross right now, the bite right here. Um, we need maggots, 30, 60. We're at about 72.85 if you're looking for coordinates, by the way. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, hopefully I won't mess this up, but I wanted to see. I knew I was going to mess that up. I was trying to look at chat real quick. sure that that's it might be a gibble it's not uh, yeah it's a little small gibble I, I, it was thin but just the, kind of the shape of it looked like a gibble I could tell it wasn't a chub There's a little bleak down there. All right, guys, let's try it again. We're going back to 16 hook. Let's just see what happens here. fish on it. There was a fish on it. that I 
I, whatever, I don't know what that was, but I've had, I feel like whatever fish that is, like maybe it's a little gibble or something, is doing that nibble because it's, I, I never catch that one, whatever that one is. You see how much slower the bite rate is? It's like a lot less bleak when we have this size hook. That's a bleak. Golly. It's also a cheap hook, so it might be pulling the fish out of the mouth even more often. It is worth spending a little bit of silver on hooks. Look at this. That uh, that 20 we have is, is just even a... Even that, you can tell a difference, just upgrading to that level of hook. Just, I can't do it. So irritating. just can't right now. I bet we'll catch it on the first one now that we've got the other hook back on. Such a difference. But I do kind of want to try the 16 again. Maybe we just need to get a little nicer 16. Uh, that's a fish we don't even want to catch. I think that was just like a really small chub. We got it really close to shore that time, didn't we? It's a nibbler. See the difference in what a bleak does versus these some of these other species? How annoying is that? Is that just like a tiny gibble? Well, we're going to find out. No, that's not a gibble. Oh, it's a dace. Okay, cool. Well, we want it bigger than that. That dace is too small. For me, pearl barley seems to catch larger dace. I've gotten mostly really small dace on maggots, personally. We've got, like, one more in-game hour, I would say, of... of Reliable bites. So one of the things you can do when you're trying to target a specific species is go to the weekly list and just see what they're biting. F turns on your flashlight for when it starts to get dark.
bite rate starting to die now. I think it might be. Let's try it one more time. I thought it wouldn't happen to closer to 2200, but I think it's happened. It's like they just disappeared. It's nighttime and they have all but disappeared. What is this, by the way? Oh, it's a little bleak. We did get one more. All right, so for science sake, let's try worms and let's uh, lower that. How, how deep y'all think it is right here? I think it's 50 centimeters if we cast it just a little bit out there. Uh, we could have gone a little farther. What I'm wondering here is so at night, we're often on our feet are going to be wanting to catch what's called ruff, R-U-F-F-E. Another really small species of fish, but at this level, it's a good fish to go after. A lot of times there's really nice cafe orders here and mosquito for ruff. And so what I'm wondering is if we put a worm down close to the bottom with a small hook size, Are we likely to see rough? I think we will in some places. I'm just not sure about here. Uh, right, let's see if that's what this is. Oh, goodness. Uh, that's a big gibble. Excuse me. What in the world? All right, let's try. Um, let's try going down to like 80 centimeters, and kind of give it a little heave out there. I'm just curious. I'm just curious about rough. I, I don't know exactly where they are, but we'll let this drift for a minute. It might could even be deeper, huh? Oh, I gotta buy a map. We don't have a map here yet. I think for rough, you want it closer to the bottom. I could be wrong though. They might do at the top too. I'm just thinking of how often you catch rough on feeders. That's a perch. Yeah, we will catch perch on worm as well. The pond is over there, back there. I know there's rough and donuts rough at the pond, but it's also in the, they're in the river for sure as well. Okay, so this is the cafe. We haven't talked about the cafe yet, but the cafe is a good place to um, check before you sell your fish because if you have, wow, we actually caught a chub for that order. If you have what the cafe is asking for, you'll get way more silver for it in most cases than if you um, just sell the fish straight up. All right, administration building is where you get your map. You always want a map because it shows you how, you know, shows you where you are on the map, shows you the depth of the different spots. Um, okay, let's check what we have so far. 54 silver, look by price though. Um, let's just look at bleak, that's what I care about. I wanna see, yeah, okay, so four and a half silver for 104 gram. 3.8 silver for 87. So this is kind of where it goes down, right? If they're over 50 grams, it's more than two silver. If they're under, it's a, a silver or less. So we caught 42 silver worth of bleak, and one of those was a trophy. So if you take the trophy away, it'd have been more like 34, if it had been like a normal size bleak. So that's pretty good. That's some pretty good bleak fishing. Since we've got all night here and we don't have feeders yet, and I'm not gonna rush to buy a junk feeder without thinking about it, let's go try something in the in the pond. 
So this is the pond over here. It's two meters. But we're going to try fishing right up close to the shore and see if we can't get a rough. There's that rough order just sitting in the cafe order. Rough are easy to catch with feeders. I, I'm not sure about doing this with floats, but I want to give it a try. I know you can. I just don't know. Where am I and why? Okay, I'm going the complete wrong direction. That's why it's good for me to have a map. All right, so I think just right here, um, right in front of us. Let's let's put it let's put it at a meter. Let's see if that will sit straight. If we like cast it eighty percent right there. Yeah, so that's at the bottom. So let's try this first. See if we get a bite. very slow in that spot so let's try just like right here in front of us um, let's try let's don't go all the way let's go to like 40 we'll try that first Also a bit slow like we don't want to wait around for bites I mean eventually they will come you'll get a you know you'll get an eventual bite but we, we want to find hot spots you know all right let's go all the way to the surface let's just see if I'm wrong about let's do it a little farther than that let's see if I'm wrong about rough I don't think I am though. I've not really targeted them with float, but I don't think I'm wrong. Oh yeah, real quick, let me show you. So I was talking about week weeklies earlier. So you can go weekly for all region or you can just go one region. But if you look for the fish type that you're going for, so in this case we were talking about dace. Well, the biggest dace are on maggots here at Winding. King Eel is in our chat. Maybe we'll go try dace. We'll, we'll, I wonder what size hook. That's that's just like a crucian or something. Yeah. That's not what we want. Although there was that crucian order, wasn't there? All right. Did we ever decide on best hook size for dace with maggots? Oh, 
That's going to be, it could be another crucian. It looks like a gibble to me. It's just hard to say in the shadows. Yeah, it's a gibble. It's a pretty nice gibble. Trying to wait for one more crucian or gibble here. See, I might actually still have that note about, yep. It's 81, 100 is where we were catching those days. Okay, we might try that at first light. This first episode is gonna be a little longer as we just sort of ease into this new series um but let's go look in the store and kind of talk about our options here but let me think through our options i think we want to definitely we want to get a feeder whether it's a cheap feeder or a uh, nice feeder what are we at right now so we're gonna have 90 silver already and that's without catching any dace or anything um so, we want to look at feeder rods. So for 150 silver, we can skip right over that beginner crap and get a pretty nice setup here. If you add up everything in here, I think it's close to 200 silver. Y'all might have to check me on that, but I think that's right. And you're getting a rod that can go to 5.5 kilos, uh, this Lacerti here, 100 silver rod, instead of starting out with the junk stuff. Um, let's go back to feeder rods though. So that's the comma comfort that, that comes in that set. I think it makes sense Like I wanna be efficient and I wanna save, get really good spots where we can save and make a lot of silver and skip a lot of steps, like not have to spend a lot of money on baby steps working our way up. But when you first start, you just wanna get feeder rods in the water. And yet I don't wanna get this junk in the water if possible. So I think the first thing we do is get this feeder fishing start. I think that's just really smart, but I'm not gonna get two of them. I think I'm gonna get one and then we'll set up a different one after that. All right, we might start to get some bites here. It's about 4 a.m. We might start to see them show up. We'll 
Hopefully we'll be able to figure it out. Okay, this is where the dace are biting. And again, we want it to be at 17 centimeters. We're gonna start off with the 20 size hook and maggots. Just throw it right in front of us here. Now it's daylight, but it's early morning. I don't know if they'll be biting just yet or not, but let's let's find out. Once they start biting, you'll I mean you'll know it. They'll start showing up pretty regularly. Unless the spot has changed since we were last here. And then we'll play around with hook sizes too. If we're catching too many non-markers, we'll play around with hook sizes. Now, once it gets farther down, in my experience, a lot of times gudgeons start getting on them down here. But it doesn't look like anything's biting just yet. The other thing we can try are blood worms. Of course, we don't have any red worms yet. And then once we can make it, pearl barley works really good for the days as well. All right, so far, no bite. But it's still early. I mean, they might not, ooh. God, that was a cast and a half. All right, we'll just try it. Um, what size line do we have on here, by the way? Yeah, good, 3.1. You don't want much line. You want thin line for this stuff. All right, it's after 12. Let's go back to a regular. Okay, so this is the cast we want, just like right in front of us. Even that's a little far, I would say. But that might work. There it goes. What is that? What is that? Let's find out. Oh. Pretty decent sized common roach. And we'll see a lot more of those. If we try higher hook size, we'll see a lot more common roach. You know what I think we should do? I think we should go grab some blood worms out of the shop, out of the bait store. Because that's something else we could try. Let's do that, because really, I think until 5 a.m., those dace might not really be showing up much. Let's get some blood worms to go with our maggots. We can That way we have something to rotate to. It's always nice to have a couple ba uh, baits to go back and forth between. Blood worms are even cheaper. Let's get 30 of them for now. Get that crucian order filled. Uh, we might get to roach according to how many we catch. And that's gonna probably be it though. It's just after the split in the river here. All right. I kind of like being on this side of this bush. All right, we're gonna try to start with maggots. Get a feel for maggots and we'll switch to blood worms. Maybe we'll just switch back and forth really one after the other. I don't know, we'll see. We got it so close to shore that time. It's not gonna float down the river as far. Yeah, let's, re let's reset that one. We'll give maggots another chance. There we go, that's the perfect cast. We want to get a nice drift with the current. Okay, that's a roach, isn't it? Have the dace gone away? All right, let's switch to bloodworm. We'll just switch back and forth here. That was way too far. I think if I remember correctly, when I tried bloodworm before, I just didn't think it was as good a bite rate. But I was comparing that to pearl barley, which was just like awesome. But we got to work on 
digging and uh, leveling up our bait bait harvesting. I think that's another roach. A little worried that the roach have moved in, um, but it could be time of day. I mean, it could be just it's still early, you know. Hopefully the dace will still show up for us. If not, we're going to be catching bleak for a few more minutes. We want to make some silver one way or another. That's another roach. The nice thing is these have all been, ooh, these have all, a lot of these have been marker fish. Like that roach was nice. Those two weren't, but uh, especially here at Winding, catching a marker roach is not a bad thing. Uh, oh yeah, we need to switch to blood worm. Well, we didn't really catch a fish yet, so we'll stay. So if we catch a fish or if it um, goes all the way down without a bite, then we'll switch. But if we catch too good of a fish, we might have to use the same bait. See, I think that was a dace, but we didn't get him. So let's uh, let's try this again. That's a roach for sure. At least it's a marker. All right, let's switch to blood room. The bleak spot, especially, oh, look at that. How funny is that? Was there an order for one of those? I think there might have been. That's a big one. Um, there might have been. I can't remember if it was that or river muscle. That looks so funny chasing that thing in real life. I don't think that's how that works. Do y'all miss the bleak spot yet? All right, that's a day sitting it. Now the question is, is it a marker? I don't think so, but we'll find out. We got him. Oh, it is. Okay. This is what we want. 100 gram dace. I think those, if you can catch them pretty quick, I think those are a uh, really nice silver fish. I think we can make some decent silver. All right, that looks even smaller, doesn't it? But it is a day. So right now we're hitting them with blood worms. Let's switch real quick and see if we still get them with maggots. Because again, it's a little later in the morning. So like maybe they've showed up now. Theoretically, maggots should be hitting them as well. According to the weeklies, that's what the biggest days have been called on. But man, bloodworms got him twice in a row. That looks like a gudgeon, I think. All right, we'll give maggots one more try before we do the switcheroo again. That's a dace, right? Or is it a tiny roach? Oh crap, I think that might be actually a really small roach. If it's a dace, it's a nice one though. It looks roachy to me. See those red eyes? All right, Matt, uh, all right, bloodworms, come through for us. That's such a good cast, I like, it. I like that positioning. Come on, bloodworms, you got two in a row. Uh, no, don't be doing that. Don't be influenced by the maggots. 
Come on, bloodworms. You got this. That's a dace. All right. Now we just got to get him a little bigger. Come on, dace. Let's switch back to maggots. We got another roach. It's a nice roach, but That looks like a dace, doesn't it? Or is that a gudgeon? That's a gudgeon. You can tell. Slowly going after it. Give me my bait back. Not only was it a gudgeon, but it was an undersized gudgeon. The worst kind of gudgeon. That's a dace, and it looks like a nice one to me. What's this old maggots? Yeah. That is a very nice one. Ten forty four twip clip twelve. What is that? Is that a crucian or something? That's a a roach, okay. All right, now I'm starting to be impressed with maggots. Level eight in our first episode, wow. I think we're gonna have some pretty good silver too. Look at that freaking muscle, river muscle. Not what we want. That was a quick bite, and that is a dace, but it kind of looks small. That would have been a trophy dace. So I'm not sure what trophy dace size is, to be honest. I've not really ever targeted dace before the other night. And it was such an interesting experience. I thought we'd do it a little bit here before we sign off for this first episode. Ooh.
So notice we've already gotten our float fishing to 11.7%. Just because of this fast bite rate, we're leveling up our level, character level, and our float fishing level very quickly. Like it. All right, maybe we should try blood worms again just for fun. Gudgeon. See, it came from that direction. The gudgeons are down there. That actually looked like that could have been a marker gudgeon though. Quick bite, it's probably a roach, but it's something quick. Another roach. All right, let's try bloodworm again. So we're still catching roach on bloodworm, but maybe not quite as much as we are on maggots, but it's possible that maggots will catch bigger dace. So it's kind of a catch 22. I don't know, that's another nice dace on bloodworm. That's a, oh, I thought that was going to be a big dace. Yeah, we're definitely still getting tons of roach on bloodworm. Quick bites though, holy cow. You know what that is. It's a little gudgeon, which means it's going to be a little nibbler. It's also undersized. Give me my bait back. I don't think you can pull the gudgeon uh, when they first start swimming with it. A lot of times it looks like that's just like the first part of the bite. You got to wait till they really take it, it looks like. I've missed a lot of gudgeon tonight. being a gudgeon. It is not a gudgeon. That is a sleeper. Okay. One more maggot. It's roach.
Okay. Days. Yeah, look at that. Six silver for that 120 gram. Almost six silver for the 108. 2.6. So you want to get over 100. That's the break off point. If you can get them over 100, they're going to add up super quick. We call it 17 silver worth of just dace there. Yeah, so we did get the, the river muscle order. You know what? Let's check the... Um, yeah, that's the only roach order. So it's for four. It's probably better than just straight selling them, although it'll be close because they're all markers. All right, and that's pretty much it. So we're up to 50 silver. We still have a bunch. Let's just check our bleak spot one more time for fun. I have a feeling that the day spot, you've got the potential of getting more silver there. I think some of it depends on what are the cafe orders for. If you've got a nice bleak cafe order, it's a no brainer. Come get your bleak cafe order done, but thanks for the follow. But if you, um, Sandy Matt, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. That was over on Twitch. But if you have, uh, I'm not even streaming right now, but I appreciate it. If you have, if you don't have an order and you want to try to hit it big, getting those like 100 plus gram dace really do add up. Or they can add up. But I'm not sure, like, I don't know, I'd be curious to try with pearl barley. Might, might have gone a little better with pearl barley. We'll do some testing. Getting some small bleak right now. It's just such a nice spot though, like. The bleak seem to be pretty easy to catch on float. We're not missing a ton, at least with, since we're not using the super cheap hook, but uh, oh, that's not a bleak. Give me back my stuff please that's a chub um we're not missing a bunch and it's such a fast bite rate we're leveling up float fishing so fast golly it's just crazy Another chub. Tell by the way it was swimming up to it. Yeah, I, I would be careful about using too big of a hook here though, because if you're using this starter gear, if you're a low level player, the wrong chub could get on there and uh, and definitely ruin your first day. Did we try bloodworms over here? Okay, we'll try bloodworms. Then I really got to call this first episode. We're at like well over an hour now. I'm not even sure if Bleak will eat bloodworm. I'm not sure that they will. I don't know what that was. too far out there 
I don't know that we would have gotten a bite on maggots on that one. That's a sleeper, isn't it? That's interesting. Might also catch sleepers here. You know, sleepers typically like worms, so if you used worms with small hooks, here, small hooks here, I don't know how well they bite, but you might get sleepers. Dang it, I want to know what that fish was. Just wondering if, since the bleaks don't seem to be getting the bloodworm, if, like, dace will get them here. I don't know if there's a lot of dace here or not, though. That's a worm. I mean, that's a roach. Dang it. Still have more questions than answers about blood worms in this spot. Can't see it. Couldn't see it. All right. So. Let's see how we did, folks. 81 silver plus the cafe orders. We're at 131 silver. So as long as we fish during the daytime next time, we'll be able to get this no problem. We'll see what the cafe orders are. We'll do some more float fishing and we'll get our first feeder set up. All right. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this first episode of our uh, efficient, fun leveling experience focused on float for now, but we'll be feeder fishing soon. I will see you next time.